it doesn't end. It does not end, guys. It's just... <sighs> Jesus Christ. I don't want to have to do this video. I didn't want to. Um, you know, because when all this came about, eh, last night, half of the day, last half of the day yesterday, started coming out about this uh, new rumor um, that Ben Affleck wants to just walk away from playing Batman altogether. And I was like, no, I'm not going to start that uh, now. Let's not start that again. Jesus Christ. We just got good news, apparently, that the script is... They're very happy with the script. Matt Reeves. Everything was sounding good. And then all of a sudden, this was happening. And then I started seeing who the source was. And I was like, oh, great. So he said it on the podcast. And now everybody's going to start running with it. Maybe that's not going to happen. But surely that's... You can't trust that because when somebody gets a piece of information and then other people start doing it, then more people start doing it because it's big information. And uh, yeah, so I was at work today and I kept seeing it. People were sending me the links and shit like that. And I'm going, check the source. You see the source? Look at the source. You know, it's just funny because it's like, you know, you got people sending me shit and they're like, yeah, multiple people or multiple sites are saying this. I'm all, yeah, but it's coming from one specific source. Always look at the source. And obviously the source, he's uh, he's never really been... I've never, never really been too fond of the guy. I have respect for the guy. I do. Mr. John Kempia, if I'm saying that right. Um, I've had respect for him, but I just sometimes don't like his attitude towards things. And, uh, and I was just thinking, okay, you're trusting the guy who could have bet, like, fucking... Tons of money that Jamie Alexander was going to be cast as Wonder Woman. And he's still pissed off about it. That's why he does not like Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. He'll still, like, hate. I mean, I think he even said that about Batman or Superman, that, she, that her acting was terrible and everything. And I'm like, I thought she did a pretty good job to me. I don't know. And, you know, the same guy also posted this on Facebook. 13 minutes into a new show, and he's just already Facebooking that it kind of sucks. That's just petty, stupid shit. I'm sorry. But anyways, so I was like, all right, you know what? I'm getting upset now. I'm sitting there at my desk at work going, all right, I guess I'm just going to get home and I'm just going to rant and I'm going to do my normal film junkie rant thing and I'm going to rip this guy a new asshole. But I need to watch exactly everything that he said with that segment first. And I did. And I'm not going to rip the guy a new asshole. No, I'm not. And I'll tell you why. Because, yes, I think he should have kept this information to himself. But he expressed how he's been burned in the past. He's not a scooper. He's not like Mr. Pooper Scooper over here who's like always 100% confident. But he explains that he's tried to do scoops in the past and it hasn't worked out for him. He got called out by Edgar Wright apparently. I, I guess like a long time ago he heard that Adrian Brody, was it Adrian Brody? Yeah, who's, uh, he was going to play Ant-Man in Edgar Wright's uh, Ant-Man movie. And Edgar Wright actually hit him up and said, nope. And then there was like another thing too, but then he didn't mention the Jamie Alexander thing, which is kind of weird. I don't know why he left that out, but uh, he's mentioned that he's been burned in the past. He said to take it with a huge grain of salt, and he said, you know, don't start spreading this around, even though it's like, dude, you know what's gonna happen. I mean, that this is why, like, I'm 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 kind of defending the guy because a lot of people are just giving him shit, like, fuck this guy, blah blah blah. He even posted this trying to uh, say, like, hey, you know, I. This was like, not a scoop. This I'm not a scooper. I'm not this, not that. He's trying to back himself up a little more. But I mean, you got to realize when you're like up there in the movie community or in any kind of community, you got to, you know, you got to think like, if I say something, a lot of people are going to run with it. They're going to just run with it. I mean, this is almost reminds me of the, the Milo Yiannopoulos and Leslie Jones thing. It's like, yeah, he can't control all his followers. But you can't tell me that he didn't think that some of his really shitty racist followers were going to just totally just terrorize Leslie Jones. You don't, he knew that in the back of his head. He knew that was kind of going to happen. And then to get removed from tr Twitter, he actually wanted that because it made him, you know, it's almost like, you know, Obi-Wan. If you strike me down, I'm only going to be more powerful. And he is more powerful now. I mean, it's almost, I'm drawing parallels. Obviously, these are two drastically different things. But I'm just saying, if you're on the, if you're up there in the food chain of movie community-ness, like you have like a popular podcast, a show and everything, and you're going to drop some information that you heard. And it's kind of funny too, because it kind of contradicts himself when he says like, oh yeah, you know, I hate it when it's all like, he said, she said this, that, and this. And then all of a sudden he goes, well, I heard from three different people that Ben Affleck wants out. 
you got to realize that, yes, even though you're going to put a disclaimer out there, which is great, that's professional of the guy. I'm glad he actually was like, yes, take it with a huge grain of salt. This is what I just heard. This is nothing, blah, blah, blah. They didn't even title the video about like, oh, my God, Ben Affleck wants out. No, they just talk about Matt Reeves as the director. That's that's pretty much what the whole segment started with. Um, and you, But you got to realize that, yes, there's going to be blogs that they're just going to run with it. They're going to go crazy with it, and that's exactly what's been happening. He, and obviously it's going to be sourced back to him. So it actually, you know, it gives him more views, more attention. So you got to think that that was still in the back of his head. But what I liked about what I saw in the segment was the fact that he actually praised, he praised a lot of these other blogs. He actually praised Batman News. And I've been kind of giving him shit a little bit, but uh, I do commend Batman News for getting that uh, Justin that Justin Kroll scoop, I guess you could say, saying that they heard about the uh, the script. But he also brought up another good point, is Variety never ran a story about Warner Brothers loving the Batman script, even though Justin Kroll said he heard something, but they weren't confident enough to actually run with it. See, and that's the thing. This is the thing I've been talking about. For some reason, they've been running with a lot of the other little chunks, and maybe they were going, okay, we can't do this anymore. We are way up there. we got to be a little more professional, okay, because a lot of these people are sourcing us, and giving us shit because we're just like throwing in lines that says like oh yeah and Ben Affleck indicated spring where did he fucking indicate spring did he point did he point at a chart of the seasons that's what I kept stressing about I'm like when the hell there was no quote they just said he indicated okay so I'm thinking maybe Variety learned their lesson and said okay we heard about this and yeah you can mention it and if it goes crazy don't you know don't link it back to Variety link it back to you and they didn't even run that story. So he actually brought that up too, which is a very good point. And this is the kind of shit that's been happening, especially with the whole Ben Affleck shit. And you can, I, and as this stuff keeps on going and going and going, I can, pro, I can really just understand why the man would want out. Because he's sick and tired. I, mean, I can make a whole video of like how this was such a dream for him to play Batman. And now it's turning into a nightmare for him, you know? I just it's just yeah so as much as i was wanting to rip the guy a new asshole i'm not going to because he was actually pretty professional about it and he praised the dceu he likes batman vs superman he likes suicide squad i don't think he's gonna like wonder woman because he's still got a fucking chip on his shoulder about jamie alexander for some reason he can't accept gal gadot whatever that's fine um i personally think gal gadot's a better choice but whatever um, but he was very professional about it, so I had to commend him for that. Should he have talked about this information? No, because he should have known that this was going to happen, but I think he did know it was going to happen, and it's just a little more attention going to him, and, y y you know, there's nothing you could do about it. He he this was going to happen regardless. You're going to mention something about the Batman movie, and you're up there in the movie community. Guess what? It's going to spread. It's going to spread like herpes. That's right. Not wildfire. Herpes. Because this is just <laughs> tired of it. Tired of it. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Okay? I don't want to believe this rumor's true. Another thing that's funny, too, is the Variety rumor that they, they didn't post, but that Justin Kroll said, you know, when he talked about how Warner Brothers is loving the script now. Oh, we all accepted that. Perfectly okay. But we won't accept this. This is just, we always complain that there's a bias against DC, against the DCEU, but we're also being kind of biased ourselves when it's like, oh, we hear good information. We're like, yeah, that's true. But when you hear bad information, we're like, fuck you. Fuck you and your sources and blah, blah, blah. So I'm trying to be like, okay, I don't, I don't need to be doing that. I need to be a little more professional myself too. But, I've, but, you know, defending myself, I've been trying to go like, okay, this is all unverified too. We, don't hear, we haven't heard shit from Warner Brothers or Ben Affleck or even Matt Reeves, we don't even know exactly what's going on, which they talk about too in that segment that, you know, Matt Reeves is still in talks. It's it's not confirmed yet. So that's why I'm like, okay, I'm not going to, he, he was him and the whole panel was actually pretty professional. So there you go, guys. Sorry that this video dragged on for a long time, but I just wanted to talk about all the little details. Um, we just got to be patient. I mean, it's okay to speculate. It's okay to talk. Like me, I'm just voicing my opinion. It's fine for me to do that. I'm not sitting here going like, well, I heard from my inside source <laughs> after we jerked each other off. He told me about the Batman. No, I didn't. No, I'm not going to. I'm not doing that. I'm just talking about what's out there and commenting on it because a lot of you guys send me the links 
you know, through social media and stuff like that. And you're telling me, you know, you want me to talk about it. And this is what I'm talking about. And uh, I don't, you know, like I said, ne never really liked Campia, but I actually am defending him a little bit. Probably should have kept the information to himself, but whatever. It's out there and we can take, do with it <laughs> what we want to. And apparently it's just being spread all over the place, sadly. And it's probably just even pushing ba uh, Ben Affleck <laughs> over the edge just a little bit more, which sucks. Because I think he's, hmm, his, his Batman is probably my favorite Batman. Cinematic Batman. I'm not going to lie. It's just, I really fucking loved it. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below in the balls area. What do you think about all this, all this crazy nonsense and everything? I mean, we just got to, you know, we got to wait for actual confirmation from these people. And we'll see what happens. I mean, yes, it's nice to get it from sources. Cool. But we got to be, you know, we can't just run with like these crazy, even when it's good. Even, you know, even when it's good, like the whole, oh, they love the script. We can't just take that because some dude said so. We can't do that. Just can't do that. Okay? All right, guys. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the balls area. Also, hit that like, thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my other channel. Follow me on the social medias right above my head. All right, guys? Ah, <sighs> man. Ben, come on. We still want you to play Batman. And, you know, Campia said, and this is actually valid because he's supposed to do, he was contracted for three movies. It said two Justice Leagues at least, but it might be just one Justice League and then the standalone Batman. And that's my, that, that might be all we get from Ben Affleck, which that's fine. I, I'm actually okay with that. I don't know what they'll do, but hey, whatever. But yeah, like I said, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the other channel, follow me on the Sock Meds right up there. Um, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later.